Good morning. It is Monday, October 2nd. Welcome to My Left Ear. I am Carrie Freeman, the writer, producer, director of My Left Ear. It always makes me feel good to say that because I am. And today is the weekly runes that I normally do on Monday. And this will be from today, October 2nd uh, to October 9th. Uh, and uh, most of you, if you're tuning in, are familiar with <clears throat> The political, the political uh, commentary I do, um, which I will deliver uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, not sure. Uh, all things politics, and this is a left-leaning YouTube channel. <clears throat> we leaned to the left, okay? So now you're forewarned. And when I am not here doing this, um, I, I, I am what I call a change agent and a creative. So I write books. I'm just about finished with my rewrite of the Good Evidence book. So excited, really like it, and it's going to be in paperback. All right, so I'm just telling you that. And the Comics Daughter, which I, you see that I have, I left a message a week or two ago that I'm selling the remaining of the books, keeping a few for myself, and I'm going to keep posting that. So uh, thanks for ordering the book because there'll be a time for a while it won't be available and i have a book um ready to mail out this morning to sue in hawaii and sue i didn't get your order fast enough my fault for not checking so it's being mailed today and i just want you to know that you are not forgotten and this is for entertainment purposes only now if you should want to consult with me uh have a psychic coaching session or um clinical hypnotherapy to really kick out some problems, contact me. All the information is below. You can call me or you can email me, okay? Now, here we go. And I do at the end, I have a really fun, good evidence story and I have a quote. Uh, so for this week, which is interesting because, you know, today is the first day of Trump's trial before a judge in New York for the 250 million um, fraud case, which will inevitably, inevitably cost him more than 250 million. So New York is in a big hubbub. There's you know all kinds of activity and he has shown up and he uh, showed up and he made a speech. Of course he did. Um, just, uh, you know, trying to destroy everybody that's um, doing things legally. All right, so when I throw the runes, I, um, especially yesterday, I really focus on politics, okay? Uh, so this was, tell me politically, tell me politically. So I wasn't throwing the runes for myself or individuals. Um, and so the first rune <clears throat> I pulled was um, defense. And defense deals with avertive powers. Uh, this is an interesting reading, by the way. Well, they're all pretty interesting. Um, as we are tested, we fund the power to avert blockage and defeat. Um, and this rune tells you that even if, oh, there's Petey. Petey, you want to come up here? Come up here, Pete. He might. Um, even if there appears to be an obstacle in your path, consider that a delay may prove beneficial. Uh, do not be overly eager to press forward. And patience is the counsel here, no acting needy. Now, you know, as I went through this reading, I, I've never said this before, but I, this is what I pretty much do. Uh, I try to figure out who they're talking about, you know? Uh, are they talking about Trump? Are they talking about the Democrats? Blah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm going to get into that a little bit more. Uh, this rune speaks to the difficulties that can arise at the beginning of new life. Now, that what comes to mind right there is Donald Trump, because as of today, he's in court with a judge that is not happy with him. Not a jury. It's a civil trial. He won't go to jail. It'll cost him a lot of money. Um, so I'm thinking that this is the beginning of new life now for him. But I also see the duality that it's 
the kind of the beginning for us that are Democrats, independents, that want to vote for democracy, um, because this is the turning point. Because a year ago, we really didn't know if there would be any justice coming. You know, we didn't know. We hoped, we f were fighting. Um, so that's what I want to say that about that. New life for Trump, but not necessarily good because this is called defense. And by the way, when I do a weekly, that's defense. It's very sharp, isn't it? It's very sharp looking. Um, it may offer a time of waiting and I wrote more trials. So when I do that, that's when I put my own comments in. More trials for the spring to fill up with water. Um, avert anticipated difficulties through right action. Well, that's not gonna happen. You know, he doesn't know right action. He knows attack. Now also, I'm feeling this is also about the House of Representatives because there's been such fighting turmoil, really ugly. And as I told you, it, uh, we, we averted the blockage at the last minute. And boy, it was at the last minute. And I have to tell you, I never um, got nervous. I went, I just, I just know we're right here. And we were um, so happy. Now it's only for 45 days. Um, and I did get a message from one of the subscribers. I heard you where you said, yeah, and then we'll go through this again in 45 days. And you know what? We might, uh, we might. Uh, it's until we clean out the dissidents in Congress, and that would be Jack Smith's job, uh, we'll keep coming up against stuff, all right? Because now, well, I'm going to talk about this more tomorrow or, or Wednesday, which is this enormous gladiator fight between Matt Gates and um, McCarthy. But we'll talk, we'll talk about that. So I'm going to stay with the runes right now. Um, avert anticipated difficulties through right action. And, you know, uh, McCarthy did take right action, but Trump won't, Trump doesn't. Um, it does say capitalize on what you have developed so far, but without immediate payment for the work. Now, what comes to mind here is that a bill went through, but it didn't include funds for Ukraine which is very, very disappointing. And, and um, Joe Biden is very angry about it. And he's really looking to find a way to get Ukraine with more funds, all right? Um, but it says, it, this is preparation for the future, preparing the soil to receive the fertile seed of the future. But it does say, through inconvenience and discomfort, growth is promoted. Uh, and this is associated with the hangman in the uh, tarot, and there is no rehearsal. Um, so as you know, my screen blows up, and I still haven't had it fixed. I'm a bad girl. It takes me a long time to get stuff done. All right, the next one, by now you might know it, Stand Still, the chilliest rune in the group, in the whole bag, the chilliest. So when that comes up, I always go, whoa, so this could be about Trump. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna read the chilliness to you in a minute. It may be Kevin McCarthy gets booted out. Although I'm gonna throw a rune on it and I don't think so. And then Matt Gates too. And there's some really juicy stuff going on. It's like soap opera, but uh, there's a battle. There's a gladiate later uh, battle going on. So this says, stand still. The winter of your spiritual life is upon you. You may find yourself entangled in a situation to whose implications you are blind. You are blind. Well, Trump for sure. I mean, he is alone. Um, everybody's jumping off of the ship. Uh, when There's a quote, when you shake the tree, the monkeys scatter, and everybody's flipping on him. Flipping, flipping, flipping. Um, uh, so, and you may feel, he may feel powerless to do anything, um, except submit, surrender. 
even sacrifice some long-cherished desire. Well, he's not going to flip. He's not going to surrender. He fights, he fights, he fights. However, and I have to do a rune on this. I've just been waiting. Um, he may not be able to run for president. So it says, um, be, uh, be prepared to sacrifice some long cherished desire. And that's where that, my comment is coming from. Uh, positive accomplishment is unlikely right now. Well, we know that with this fraud trial, it is not good. Uh, there is a freeze on useful activity. Your plans are on hold where there's a freeze on all his finances, his properties. Um, this is very literal. Um, you may be in tank. What, what happened? Oh no. Pete, get down. He's on the counter. Petey, get down. Get down. I hate to interrupt. You know, he's on the counter. Petey, I got it. If I stand up, he'll get down. I'm so sorry. Pete, you get down. You get down. He knows. He knows. Can you come up here? Pete, can you come up here? Everybody would like to see you. Everybody likes to see you. Come on up here. So we'll see. He's up to no good. Um, it says be, pre uh, be prepared to spend some time waiting. This is standstill. This is the chilly one. Don't depend on others right now. I mean, even his kids are being called to testify. You know, now there is, this will be more tomorrow, but there, there's a strong feeling that they will perjure. Her. They're so terrified of him. We will see. Submit and be still. Uh, this is associated with ice and winter. And it's funny, we're going into winter. Um, as the ice melts, more is revealed uh, and progress can be made. What has been full must empty. Like he's been like the, f the thing that's full, like filling up all media, all um, TV shows, news, and it must empty and it will empty. Um, wait for the signs of spring. Come here, come here, come here. All right. Um, oh, I wanna point out something. You can hardly see it, but one of my beloved subscribers handmade this beautiful necklace and I'm going to wear it again. I'm going to wear it a lot, but I'm going to wear it again with something that will really make it pop. It is so beautiful. And there's two, there's two pieces to it. Anyway, I love this necklace. I, this, um, client Carol is so gifted, so gifted. Carol, I love it. All right. It's my birthday tomorrow. Carol sent me a birthday gift. All right. Um, now, we're coming to the third rune of this reading for the weekly. And this is fertility. And fertility is all good. All right? All good. So there's like probably some more good news towards the end of the week again. This is, you know, this is when it, when something good comes after something so chilly, like stand still, I go, okay. And that's what gave me the reading last week. It was like, oh, okay, we're, we're not going to shut down. So fertility, new beginnings, people, new beginnings. Uh, now, it's akin to the moon, the intuitive part of our nature with its urge towards harmonizing and adjusting. Uh, it embodies the need for sharing. Who knows, maybe there'll be a little bit more bipartisan um, cooperation. It marks a time of joyful deliverance and it makes me think that Again, this will be the, the political, uh, my left ear tomorrow or Wednesday, but it makes me think that Joe Biden will be successful in finding a way to get more funding for Ukraine because the GOP would not include it in the package and the package had to be approved. And so I believe, and the runes are sort of telling, I'm intuiting, the runes are saying, Biden's going to get his money. You know how he's always underestimated. So he's going to get money for Ukraine uh, because that everybody, I, you know, everybody went, oh, no. But do not panic, okay? Um, it's a rune of great power, fertility. And it says you now have the strength to achieve completion or resolution, which opens up 
new beginnings. Um, and it also signals an emergence from a closed chrysalis state. And I think it's about something may open up in the House of Representatives. Um, and it's been like this blocked negative chrysalis state in the House. So that's what comes to mind when I look at this. Uh, and it says, as you resolve and clear away the old, you are released. So the old may be getting rid of Matt Gates. I, I'm a, my left ear doesn't think that um, that Kevin McCarthy's going to be ousted right now, but I'm going to do runes on it. Like I said, um, it says you may need to release a relationship, a habit, or a rut. Okay, um, the old stuff is not appropriate to now. Um, so there's limits, lim limitless energy in the seed of the fertility. Um, it's the beginning. There's new births, um, changes in the offing. Uh, but remember that it takes time, again, uh, for the seed to be kind of blossom, bloom, come to fruition. But it does say, this will make you very happy, await your deliverance with calm certainty. And then I did pull a clarifier. And this is, when it's upright, this is separation. Uh, but it was reversed. So let me share that with you. <clears throat> separation, reverse was the clarifier. Um, and it's, it's, it, its advice is that it's not the time to be bound by old conditioning or old authority. Um, consider not only what will benefit you, but will benefit others according to the light you possess or we possess. Total honesty is required as you may be called upon to undertake a radical departure from old ways. And you know what just popped into my, my, my brain is um, the Trump kids. You may be called upon to undertake a radical departure from old ways, meaning, you know, uh, some people that think they're gonna perjure, I kind of think they are, uh, and A.G. Trish, um, will not put up with that. Nobody's gonna get out of this thing unless they tell the truth. Um, but it says through negligence or refusal to see clearly, you may cause pain to others and damage to yourself. And that just feels like the Trump kids, but it doesn't have to be limited to the Trump kids. Um, in the reverse, the separation says adaptability and skillful means are the me methods to cultivate at this time. Be still, you must wait for the universe to act. So uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye, but you know, there, even with um, stand still, even with defense, th there's more good outcomes towards the end of the week, okay? We wait with faith. Um, so this is a funny little good evidence story, and it just kind of came up early this morning. I'm always up so early. Uh, let me just let me just go into my history. I have mentioned to you, and I've certainly talked about it on Patreon, that because I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild, uh, a long time ago, I started working on awards shows, paid, at the rehearsals. And so they hire people that are in the union, that can act, that can speak extemporaneously. And I did so many of these award shows, I can't even tell you. Uh, the Academy Awards, the Golden Globe Awards, and then, and then I just got burnt out and uh, I don't get called much anymore. But there's one event that isn't, I don't think it's televised, I'm not sure. It's called the American uh, Cinematique Awards. And every year they pick one great actor, superstar, and they honor them. It's a very classy event. It's done at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. And I go in and I, uh, I'm, they just have me read off the teleprompter and be whoever is presenting or receiving. And before the quarantine, I got called to work and I can't remember who they were honoring, but I got to the Hilton Hotel early sat on a sofa, opened my laptop. You always want to be early for these things. And um, my phone rings 
you're gonna think I'm pretty stupid when I tell you this, but my phone rings and it says like Amazon is calling me. Well, now I know they don't call people, but I didn't know that. So it says, the guy says, um, hi, this is so-and-so from Amazon and we have found a suspicious activity. Um, someone ordered a, a, like a laptop or something for $1,500 on your account. Did you do this? And I said, no. And I said, but you, you just cancel it. Well, it went through. And now we have to discuss this with you to find out how to solve it. And I panicked. I panicked. Um, so then they said, we're going to turn you over to another department. Well, now I know that other department was probably a room full of people scamming. Okay, and they had it all worked out. Well, and they, it sounded like very official. So now someone else gets on the line and says, oh, we're gonna help you, don't worry. Gonna need to go to your bank, blah, blah, blah. And for a little while, I, I, I believed it was happening. So I went to the production executive and I said, I'm so sorry, I have to leave. I, and he said, you know, it sounds like a scam, but if you need to go, go. And I did go and uh, I'm driving over a canyon. Now, some of you who live in California, you've heard of maybe Coldwater Canyon is a very famous, goes way up and goes way down into the San Fernando Valley. It's the fastest way for me to get home. So I'm driving on Coldwater and one of these Amazon people call me and he said, now stay on the phone with me because when you, when you go to the bank, I'm gonna give you very specific instructions, da, da, da. And I said, well, that's fine, but I'm, I'm driving over a canyon and we are gonna lose transmission. I, I will not be able to speak with you. And it's gonna happen soon. And he said, oh, oh, well, the minute you get there before you even walk into that bank, I want you to call me. So I hung up and now, this was before my left ear, okay? Uh, or I identified as my left ear, but my left ear kicked in. And I'm driving and I went, wait a minute, this doesn't feel right at all. I think this is, um, there were little tiny, tiny clues, and I started to compute them when I had silence. When I wasn't on the phone with this guy and he couldn't reach me, I went boing, 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 boing. Oh, it's a scam. So I, I went to my bank anyway, and I thought I'd, I'd game him. So I called him, he didn't answer, I left a message. And uh, I went into the bank with my phone, got a manager, and the, the manager was so nice. I've been, I've been with Chase Bank for many, many years. And he just shook his head and he said, you are really a smart lady because we have actually had people that have lost everything in their checking account or their savings account. I went, oh my God. I mean, that's just horrible. And um, they had no good information on me. So, uh, I didn't close my accounts or change my accounts. I didn't think I needed to. He didn't really think so either, thought I was safe. Um, so that, that happened. And um, I thought, well, American Cinematique is never gonna call me again. I felt so bad about this because I pride myself on being very um, professional. And I've never done anything like that in my life where I've run out on a, on a production or a job or something like that. All right, so now I brought you up to speed. So I let go of ever working on that show again. And by the way, it's one day, it's really nice, and they, they give you cash, okay? And it's easy too. Um, the last one I worked on was Ryan Reynolds, and that was lovely. All right, so this morning, like at five, I get up, I check my email, and I get an email from American Cinematique Awards. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, jump back and tell you one thing before I tell you this, is that when this hair started coming as silver and I'm still adjusting to it and having moments of insecurity and doubt, but it's, it's onward, it's going, I thought, well, why don't you pick like um, a spirit, like a spirit person or a spirit, uh, to um, encourage you, to inspire you. So I said, okay, Helen Mirren is my spirit guide 
for this journey with the silver hair. So I wake up this morning, I open my, and it's from the American Cinematique Awards, and they said, hi, Carrie, um, would you like to work on the American Cinematique Awards for us again? Um, and we are honoring Helen Mirren this year. <laughs> and this is the year I have silver hair. And so I wrote him back and said, absolutely. So I'm gonna do it on November 4th. And if the uh, Screen Actors Guild is still, after is still striking, they'll just move it. Uh, the, and, I, and I will be included in it. Uh, so Helen Mirren, um, I just went, wow, I manifested that. That is crazy. I just, you know, as long as I've been doing this, I have to tell you something. Whenever there's a manifestation, I still get excited. I never take it for granted. So Helen Mirren, I love her. And you know what? I have read enough about her that she's like really a neat lady. Uh, not a diva. She loves dogs and puppies. And I don't, I doubt that I'll get to meet her, but just the idea. And with my silver hair, they're probably going to have me on stage reading off the teleprompter as Helen Mirren. An honor. All right. Uh, here's the quote. I found the quote yesterday. There's a medical doctor who specializes in wellness that she's on my Twitter feed. And uh, she's always very positive. Um, her name is Dr. Beth Frakes, F-R-A-K-E-S. I don't know where she lives, um, but she's always giving sort of advice on wellness and well-beingness and stuff like that. So I thought this is really positive for a Monday. I'm going to share this with my um, my left ear people. So the quote is: How will you spend this day? Find a way to use your strengths a way to help someone else, and a way to thank someone for something. These are three simple ways to put some pep in your step, she wrote. And so she was just talking about good evidence. You know, people talk about it all the time, but they don't use the word. But when my book comes out, they'll be using the word. Even you guys write me about good evidence. So it is spreading, but when a book comes out, it'll, you know, I hopefully it'll take off. Um, so use your strengths, find a way to help someone, and uh, find a way to thank someone for something. It's not difficult, right? So I really like that. And um, I just wanna let you know that I think I'm gonna have to reschedule my live feed that I talked about October 7th, which is a Saturday. Uh, and I will let you know, I will let you know. Uh, and one other thing, because I am moving the remainder of the books that I have for the Comics Daughter, I'm going to keep posting it on um, my community. So I hope you don't get annoyed by that. But it does help people remember, oh, I can buy her book and she's not going to have any more at some point. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know I'm going to do that. And um, I will, tomorrow's the birthday. I don't have any big plans, really. It's okay. Uh, but... I might do something special. I might drive to Santa Barbara or something like that. I have plans at the end of the week. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the political my left ear tomorrow or Wednesday. It might be beneficial to get the news, see what unfolds and then put it together. But either you're gonna see me tomorrow morning or you're gonna see me Wednesday morning. And, and that's, um, that's the best. I wanna honor my birthday. And so uh, thank you. And um, tomorrow will be three years, three years that I've been doing my left ear. Can't quite believe it. it. Started during the quarantine when I wasn't busy. Now I'm really busy, but we're getting it done. My uh, mentor wants me to do many more shows per week. I don't know if I can fit it in because um, my big thing is to finish the book and you know, see clients and all this kind of stuff. All right, my friends, here we go. Have a good Monday and I'll see you really soon. Let me know your thoughts. And by the way, if anybody wanted to honor my birthday, say happy birthday, if you go below, if you're looking at the video and you go below to the right-hand corner, there's three dots and there's a way to say thank you and give a small donation to me. So that that could be cool. Anyway, here we go. Um, 
I'm sorry Petey was so interruptive and he didn't get on the, he's kind of a little bad boy today, but we love him. All right, see you soon. Make peace, make memories, and bye-bye, bye-bye.